Hello there, and welcome to Vintage Story. I'm Mark Wolf. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, I do not know much about this game. I know that it is similar to Terraformer, Terraformer, Terraformer Craft. Whether that is inspired by or a spiritual successor to, I'm not sure. We're going to find out. I have played a little bit of it in a test world just to find out the basics, but I am jumping into this blind. So, well, let's learn this the hard way. Dear player, the in-game help system, the handbook, contains useful information, which might be essential to your survival. At any time, you can press H to access it. Okay, here is our character. We're going to, uh, going to give him a more natural skin tone, I guess. Eye color. I'm going to go with Azure because I like the name of the word. I'm going to go with Britches as opposed to uh, Two Piece or Leotard. I'm going to give it a trumpet voice. Um, not bolding, so let's go with medium length. There's none of these extras that I want, but to give you an idea, you can do uh, the Princess Leia. You can give yourself buns. You could do a ponytail. Yeah, all that. Go and leave the facial expression as a smirk. Go and remove the mustache. And give him some stubble. And choose rosewood as our hair color. Yeah. Then we have our classes. We have commoner, hunter, mouth actor, hawk maker, black guard, and tailor. Tailor allows you to craft clothing. Oh, special clothing and gives him a higher durability, but you overall are weaker. You get less loot, you do less, you have less health and you mine slower. Blackguard is your melee class. So you do more melee damage. You have better armor. You have a reduced penalty while wearing armor to your speed. You have more health, you mine faster, and you can craft special sword and shield, but you get hungrier faster, do less range damage and get less loot. Clockmaker. It is interesting because a lot of this is deal of stuff I have absolutely nothing I know absolutely nothing about. But you are weaker, so you have less HP, you do less you have less range, and you do less melee damage. Malfactor is kind of like a rogue, I guess. You can loot more, uh, you forge more, you loot more, you're harder to detect, and you can create a sling, but you're weaker. You do less range uh, less melee damage, you have less health. I'm gonna go for hunter. More range damage. Better accuracy, better looting and harvest speed from animals. You walk a bit faster and I can craft a special bow and arrow, but I do less melee damage and I mine slower. Oh, we started on a little, little island. So here's the continent. Oh, right away. I see a trader hut right over there or a trader wagon. It looks like there's a uh, ruin over there. So let's head over this way a little bit. There's clay. Uh, it caused a little bit of a landslide already. So we can use these stones to uh, nap tools. Shift to place it, and while shifting, click again. And I can make a knife blade, a axe head, a hoe blade, a shovel head, a spear head. Let's make a spear. You click these orange squares to break them away. If you click someone without an orange square, you will not damage it. So you don't have to worry about accidentally messing up your tool. Let's make a knife blade while we're at it. And you don't need to do every single block. You just need to do the ones directly connected to the item you're making. And the rest of it is, uh, will break off and disappear. I want these reeds, uh, the cattails, but I want to get a stick first. So I can make my knife a proper knife instead of just a blade. So I can harvest them better. Let's look for branchy. Look for branchy leaves. 
There we go. It gives me a stick. Pressing E opens your inventory and crafting grid. And sort of like Minecraft there, you can place your things in the crafting grid in order to craft it. If you press H, it will show you the information on the tool, how to craft it, what it's used to craft. So this is actually rather lucky that we started with cattails right next to us because we can use the cattails to buy, uh, to make us more inventory space. Right now, our only inventory is our hot bar. If I get my hands on, is it 10 cattails? I can make a, a basket, which will give us three additional inventory slots. And those go down here. So you can have up to four baskets. Now you can collect the cattails without a knife, but if you do, you will destroy the roots and the cattails will not regrow. So that's why I wanted to get the knife first. All right, so we have 30 cattails now. If we go back to our inventory. We can drag these like you can with my mouse tweaker in Minecraft, and that'll give you a hand basket. Add that down there, and I'll give you inventory slots. The hand basket is the earliest basket you can make, and so is the uh, worst, but it's better than nothing because the next ones I need a lot of different resources to make. Well, not a lot, but harder to get resources. C opens your character menu. Oh, whoops, I just threw my knife. Yeah, C opens your character screen. You can uh, change your uh, what you're wearing through that. It shows you your nutrition over here. Your max health. As your nutrition goes up, your max health goes up. Shows your walk speed, your range, hunger rate, healing efficiency. So a lot of a lot of important information. And let's see what's in here. Rob out. Let's see. I don't think so. Well, you got the trade. He's a local goods trader. So he's got some doors, painting, iron fence, more doors. He's got a wooden bed. That's really good. Not that I can afford it. Cost 10 gears. All right. Well. Hopefully remember where he is and uh, come back and get some stuff from him in the future. So I need to keep an eye out for forageable foods. Flint, copper. Oh, this uh, baby rabbit got eaten by the fox. We can harvest it, or at least what's left of it. By shift and right holding down the right button with our mouse. The rabbit had nothing on it, but we did get a bone, which we can use for some of our tools instead of sticks. Now here's another rabbit. This one might actually have something on it. Nope. Finding a lot of clay over here. That's good because we're going to need a lot of it, but not just yet. This is a massive clay deposit. Actually, I'm going to just mark this off. Oh, here we go. Here's some uh, forageable foods. Got some cranberries. And as we eat, our nutrition goes up, as does our max health. So let's look at the map a bit more. I'm going to go exploring. I want to find... Um, well, I do like these open plains areas, but oh, this is actually medium fertility. So I don't know. Maybe I'll head over here. Hopefully not find anything uh, hostile. And we can see about setting up camp. Yeah, this might actually be a pretty good place to set up camp. So we're going to gather some dry grass by cutting the grass with our knife. Uh, wait, where's the closest forested area? I am going to need a lot of wood. I guess there? Over here? Is that going to be a nuisance? 
No, it should be close enough. And there's clay right there. So, okay. Now, I don't know if there's a way to set your spawn in this game. I know I can make a bed, but the bed doesn't necessarily set your spawn. At least not the basic one you can craft early on. And my knife broke. All right, so what we can do now is using these, make some dry hay. And I want to test something first. Can I walk through this? No, I don't fall through it. So I could use this as a structure block. But what I want to do is do that. Dropped it. And that's our basic bed. But we're going to carry that with us for now. And we're going to go get some wood. Oh, there's no uh, thirst system in this game. You don't have to worry about uh, getting dehydrated. Ooh, copper. Nice. Let's mark that on the map. Because if we find copper on the surface, it means there's a chance there's copper underneath. That gets us five of the 20 we need to get started. Woo. There we go. Just uh, killed that snake. And got three meat from it. And another snake. That was a bear, I think. Okay, shift crouches, control sprints. And I think when you are crouched, you are harder to detect. But you can't jump while crouched. Okay, so we got some, we got some sticks. Let's make a ax head and we can chop down one of these trees to get some lumber. And you chop down the bottom tree, I mean the bottom log and it will knock down the whole tree for you. So you don't have to worry about chopping down every single log individually. Then we are going to want more sticks. We're going to want a lot of different things. But because of our starting class as a hunter, we can make a bow and arrow early on using just vines or um, cattails and a few sticks. And then we can craft some crude arrows using just flint and sticks, or if we can get our hands on some chickens, we can use the feathers to make better arrows. Now we can either make blocks out of grass, or we can make a sort of, uh, it's a special sort of dirt hut. Where it's uh, four dirt and five dry grass gives you 10 blocks. So we're gonna actually do that. It's more resource friendly. Okay, we set up this little area as a clearing. So let's craft up
I put one in the wrong spot. There we go. That there. Go inside. We can make a simple door, a crude door with uh, three sticks and two logs. Two logs, three sticks, and our axe. Go right there. All right. Put our hay bed down. And then we can see about making ourselves a fire pit. Get some firewood. Grab one of these dry grass. You, you uh, crouch and place it on the ground. And then you can surround it with firewood. Then you need to make a fire starter. Two twigs. Bit of dry grass. Gives you a fire starter. Shift. And right click. And... It might take a minute to light. There you go. Now we've got a little dirt hut and a fire. You can toss stuff in the fire to cook it. And when this bar fills up, the food is cooked. Also going to take the moment to craft up a torch. Because once we have the torch, we can keep it in our... Well, we can keep it in our inventory. Or you have this extra hand here. You can put it in the off hand to carry it. But when you do that... It does use up more hunger. Okay, vines. Oh, we only had enough to make two. We need three. All right, we'll have to go back out and grab more of those. Uh, we have one cooked cattail, and then we can put our snake on there, and that will cook. While we've got the time, let's craft up some arrowheads. And put our torch there. And once that heats up, it will be lit there we go and now if we hold it we've got a lit torch we can also place it down just punch it to break it and as i said we can hold it in our off hand but while it's in our off hand it increases our hunger rate so we're going to keep it in our on our hot bar instead of in our off hand all right and uh just lay down and we'll go to sleep and our hunger drains while we're asleep as you'd expect, you get hungry while you sleep. Now it's four in the morning, almost five. We have half our hunger, so we're going to need to go out. Oh, well, we've got berries. Let's eat some of these berries. I'll keep the fire started, but I don't really need it. If I have uh, a torch. But the torch goes out, I need to make a new fire... I need to use the fire starter to restart the, uh... <sighs> Losing my train of thought. If my torch goes out, I need a fire starter in order to start a new fire. Okay, so I can throw the spear, and you see how it did that? The, uh, bouncing radical? That's its aim. Spear, you need to aim a little high. Ooh, I actually hit it. Because it follows a ballistic arc. Uh, it's a low weight rooster, so it might it'll probably won't give me one piece of meat. But they give me nine feathers, which means I can craft nine feathers to go with my bow once I make the actual bow. And again, it's low, so I'm not probably gonna get any meat from this. But I can take the feathers and be able to make even more arrows. So I need an another three vines. Two, three, make a new rope, and then we can make a crude bow, and then combining these in our inventory, we can make some flint arrows. And now I can defend myself just a little bit easier. It does do slightly less damage, but if we look at arrows we have our crude arrow which does minus 0.75 damage that's just the flint and the stick and there's a 30 percent chance of breaking whereas this one has minus 0.5 damage and has a 25 percent chance so it's a bit better uh obviously a metal arrowhead would be much better yeah so their slight upgrade 
over the crude arrows. The crude arrows are more than good enough to get you started as long as you're not trying to go hunt any wolves or bears. Although it can take out a wolf if it's in water. As I discovered in my test world when I got chased into water by a wolf, I was able to kill it with the crude arrows while it was in the water also because it could not catch up to me. I managed to get enough distance. But it has to be deep water, not none of this one block deep. All right, why don't we craft up the rest of these? Can I use bone? No, I can't. All right, so that gives us 12 arrows. I was going to hunt a fox, but it just, like, got away from me. Got good weight. That's a well fed fox. Got a lump of lard, got a raw hide, and a good amount of bush meat. Take these plus these. I can make some deadfall traps. This is from the uh, primitive survival mod. It's got a couple different types of traps uh, snare traps, deadfall traps. And I can place them down. And I can damage myself on them, so... I'd be careful. And, uh, there. If a rabbit hits one of those... It might kill it. Or, you know, I can just shoot the rabbit with my arrow. Uh, this one's low meat, so this might not give me much. Uh, and I just put my torch out by accidentally scrolling over it. See? Torch is out. Now, I did find this out through some testing. You put out your torch, you can use a uh, fire starter to relight the torch. I might want to leave the torch in here while I'm out exploring so I don't accidentally put it out again. Alright, we have a little inventory space, so let's gather up some of this clay. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Different items cost a lot more clay than others. Alright, 21, and we've got a ton back over here if we want to, uh, if we need to grab more. So let's go make a... Some starter clay work. So, we shift click it down, just like you will with napping, and we can make, well, here's, you know, here's what we can make. Hooks, bottles, cauldrons, saucepans, spike molds, crocs, that's good for storing food in, cook pots, planters, bowls, Crucibles, flower pots, ingot molds, jugs, tool molds, including an anvil mold, storage vessel. That takes a lot. It took it took over 20 uh, clay, and I wasn't even done. So yeah, it takes a lot. So let's start with let's make one cook pot. And so we have the yellow squares again, or orange squares. Those you... Uh, Left click to remove them with clay in your hand. And then you get the green squares. You right click to add on those. If you accidentally add where you don't need to, you can just remove it. And there we go. We have our raw cook pot. We're going to do next to it some bowls. I think I remember seeing peat out there, so we're gonna go collect some peat in a few minutes. Because we, uh, well, we don't need peat, we could use firewood, but peat is more efficient fuel source. There we go. Yeah, if we hit H and then look at pit kiln, you see, like Terraformer Craft, you dig a one by one hole. You place the items in and then dry grass, sticks, and then firewood. Or instead of firewood, you can use peat, coal, or charcoal 
Firewood will take 24 hours. Peat will take 16. Coal, 12. And charcoal, 10. Oops. Did not mean to break that one off. Now, uh, <laughs> these are very good at starting brush fires. So you really want to clear a radius around the pit kiln or uh, expect everything to be on fire. Granted, our house is made out of dirt. It's not very flammable, but everything else around here is. Okay, so shift and place to put your grass. Likewise with the sticks. I'm going to keep cutting this and then we need to go find, we got to go look for some peat. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I saw some over by the trees. At least I think I saw peat back uh, on the other side of this. It's not the end of the world if I didn't, it just will take longer to uh, fire everything. Okay, I'm not seeing any peat. Do I see any deposits on the map? No, not really. Oh, you hear that whirling sound? It's a rift right there. Yeah, I'm not going near it. I don't quite know what it does. I just know it's it's dangerous. Okay, that should be good for now. Let's head back and get the uh, pit kiln going. More cranberries. You can make them stack by just clicking them together. But the reason they didn't stack was because they had different um, spoilage timers. Something if you're coming from Terraforma Craft, you are accustomed to. There we go. Oh, and you can make uh, log piles by just clicking down your extra uh, logs. Don't know why I'm using the fire starter for this. The uh, torch is faster. We'll leave that running. We're going to go find some more. Whoa. That just popped up out of nowhere. Uh, we're going to go find some more cattails. Ooh. This is a rather large deposit of copper. So let's uh, mark this one. I can't believe I missed it. It's right next to where we uh, found all that clay earlier. That gives us 18. We need 20 in order to make a copper picks, uh, a copper pickaxe. And it's recommended to make a copper pickaxe and then a copper hammer. I don't know if it's just my imagination, but it feels like bone tools cut just a bit faster. Where's our home? Our home is all the way over there. So let's book it. There's another rift. Is it? Oh, yeah, okay, rift activity's high. Oh good, we haven't burned everything down over here. Let's make a extra basket. Buy us a little more inventory space. Grab two of those, toss them in there. Grab our torch, light it. There we go. We've got dinner cooking. We can eat the lump of fat or we can use it for crafting. So we're going to hold on to it. It's uh, more useful for us crafting than eating. 
Hopefully. Once that's done, we'll have a cook pot and we can actually make meals, which are going to be more filling and provide us with more nutrition. And there's a monster outside my front door. Can I sleep with them outside? Well, we're just going to hang out in here for a little bit. So I am currently besieged. I'm just going to stick it out here in the hut until they go away and hopefully they go away before my hunger runs out. Hopefully. I mean, I could go out the front door and just run for it. it sounds like there's like four or five of them out there. I just saw yeah, there's one clipping through the uh, wall. Um, they may have left. I don't hear them. I'm gonna open the door and I'm going to run. Ah, the siege has been lifted. But they tripped all of my, uh... Oh, no, that was that one was a rabbit. Ah, but it was a baby rabbit, so it didn't have much meat on it. Well... In this case, it literally had no meat on it. Ow. That was me tripping my own trap. Okay. So it is now safe for me to travel outside my, my hut, my dirt little hut. Dirt little hut, little dirt hut. Oh, hey, raccoon, actually. I think it's dead already. I think I wasted the last arrow. Wait, no, it's still alive. Get back here. Your dinner. I keep hitting shift when I mean to hit control. Got it. Nice. We finally got ourselves a wolf. Hmm. Low weight. So this might not have a lot of food on it. Okay, I take that back. It's got four. And now I have to f try to find all my arrows. There's the raccoon we hunted. Okay, successful hunting, uh, especially since we're low on food. Hmm, I really should find something other than this meat I just collected. Whoops, did not mean to throw that on the ground. I meant to put that over there. Because once the pot is done in the kiln, we can cook soup and stews. And we're going to want something other than just meat to put in it. Vegetables and berries, fruit. There's a chicken over here. Oh, wow. Come on. There we go. Would have been easier just to come over and club the thing than uh, shooting it. Ooh, 18 feathers. That's going to help a lot with our arrow crafting. Oh, little one didn't make it. Any feathers for me? Nope. Apparently it's planned that you can uh, tame wolf pups in the future and have your own wolves as like, uh, well, dogs, but you can't yet.
Also had uh, no meat on it. Wait, I'm missing a trap. One, two, three, right there. Ooh, that one got a bigger hair. A little bit of meat. Oh, that almost sounded like the beginning of the Star Spangled Banner. Take our snake meat out. Put our pot on. Can I put cooked meat in there? Does that work for making food? Uh, doesn't look like it. I don't have any other food items that I can really toss in there right now. So we're going to have to make do with that. Grab these. Stick them inside also. And after we cook up some of this, we can use the bowls there to pick it up. Uh, yeah, the bush meat isn't really good for meals, it says. So we have to make do with other forms of meat. Although if I take that off, I can smoke all the bush meat at once and just get it done and over with. Well, a wolf got me out of nowhere. So where am I? I'm all the way over here. I died there. My hut is there. It's not too bad. Uh, but it is a little bit of a journey. While I'm over here, I should see if there are vegetables or grains or, you know, any anything else I could forage. Time to hike back and it's almost night time. I should be able to reach our hut before dark or at as it's getting dark. That sound like a major landslide. Oh, there's copper bits over here now. There's copper visible. Very nice. Okay. Let's mark this as actual copper here. Well, that's a little advantageous. We die and we find copper. Ooh. There looks like there is oh, it's flint. Um, okay, I interrupted myself. There looks like there's some grain up there. Some split or uh or rye. There we go, make a knife quickly, so I can harvest it. Uh, it's growing rye, it's not done yet. Uh, it's a shame. Okay, uh, well now we have to run all the way over here. We should really mark our hut, shouldn't we? Home sweet hut. It's not quite a hole in the wall, but you'd be forgiven for thinking it were. Hey. You come back for more? I didn't cause, well, okay, I did kind of cause that landslide. Not intentionally, though. Ooh, more copper. How am I... How am I noticing it, like, the second or third time by? Right, well. Regardless. We need the copper. We're finding copper. I'm not gonna... 
complain about finding something I need. Okay, so we cooked the bush meat, which at least gives us food. Ding? What was the ding? Do you want my traps? Catch something? Uh, n no. No, all four traps are up. What was the ding? Nothing was cooked. Okay, we died over that way. Just by that giant tree that we saw the other day. So we're going to go to sleep, wait for it to be light out, and then go recover our stuff. Dinged again. What is the ding? It's the same sort of ding you get when, uh, when your arrow hits something. My body should be right over here. We still haven't found any of the vegetables that we came out here for. Granted, we got killed by a wolf almost as soon as we got out here, so... Little, little interrupted. But it's a good thing I didn't decide to play on a hardcore world or anything, right? No, well, wolves are letting the lambs go just fine, but no, they're gonna chase me down. Apparently, I taste better than lamb. Ooh, we found some, uh, some mature flax. There's some... Immature flax over there. It's almost done growing. You, that little bit over there. Just barely see it. But uh, this is... Uh, it's not much. But we can use these flax fibers to make twine. And then from the twine, we can make leather armor eventually. Gambesons. Bows. And most important thing... These linen sacks. These are a massive upgrade over the hand baskets because they give you five inventory slots instead of only three. So, uh, not finding the food I came here looking for, but I'll take the flax. So there's two more growing there. There's five over there. Three of them are almost ready to, uh, almost fully grown. So I'm gonna keep looking. Is that our hut? Yes, that's our hut, just right over there. So that gives you an idea of where we are. Ooh, this has two of these cracked vessels. With these cracked vessels, uh, you break them open, and you see this one says seeds. Ah, uh, this will drop seeds. What type of seeds are those? Rice seeds. Alright, um, let's drop our clay. We can get plenty back by base. And this has forage. I just picked up something. I have no clue what I picked up, but also has heal uh, heel poultice, uh, horsetail poultice. It's a, it's a bandage, if I could actually pronounce it. We'll be back for this because I can actually punch those blocks with my hand to break them and pick them up. So we can take them with us when we're ready to go set up a permanent home. Okay, let's... Let's cook some food. We could do that. I don't think we can add grain to it. No. 
All right, so we're going to be cooking a couple of different sorts of recipes here. Put those down for a minute. done I can pick that up and then do that do that and do that and make some more and I can put that down and we're just gonna be cooking for a little bit all right I think we're going to uh, call this an end for today we well this video is gonna be over 40 minutes long at this point and uh well, it's taken a long time to record, especially since I'm learning as I go. It's been a lot to edit. So, um, yeah, we're going to call it here. Uh, I keep jumping around. Um, stay tuned for an episode zero. I'm just going to go over the few mods that I actually have installed that are mostly quality of life mods. And also go over my world gen in case you're interested in starting your own playthrough or seeing how I did it. Until then, thank you for joining me today. I hope you've had a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Later. What does that do? Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's new. Am I dancing?